sharpening the focus. And the interesting thing about a camera is you're determining what you see. All of us have our cell phones. We take pictures. But aren't you also sometimes in a situation, maybe with family or something special, when you realize the picture won't capture everything? So you're determining what's in the frame. Um, I worked once in a school in um, uh, out west, it was in California, where I had this wonderful early childhood teacher, kindergarten teacher, and she had the kids walk around with picture frames that were open. In other words, the kids, the kids were walking around, they had to stop, mm -hmm. determine what they were going to see in the frame, and then they were going to talk about it. Because she said you have to make choices about what you see in frame. So the idea here is there's enormous power and effectiveness in visual cues. And the key here in our, in our goal is we're supposed to capture the essence, remember what that is, to distill to the core, what it is we want to have it be, the focus. And isn't that a good word? You're focusing your camera. You're focusing on the message. And what you want to do is open the menu for options. A couple coaching points. There's a difference between icons and images. They both can be highly functional, and they both have great value. Within those categories, there's a full array of images that might not work so well. Professional photographs can work extremely well. Olivia, I just sent you an email and asked you to post. I want to ask us all to post some additional resources of free photo images that are available for teachers you can use, you can draw from. The idea here then is it sharpens the focus and it, it can uh, help us set up action and also reveal patterns.